Okay, so with this video I'll try to explain everything that makes Abigail different from the other characters as well as all the updates. So first, you can right click on the flower to zoom on your sister. You used to have to kill something before you could do that, but now you can do that right away. As you can see, your sister has 150 health. She starts with 150 and in one day it will get up to a 300 and the day after that it will go to 600. Now all of these are mods so you might not have these at the top right of your screen. Wendy also has reduced damage by one fourth more by 25% as well as reduced sanity drain because she has a sister so the reduced sanity drain means she doesn't go as crazy as quickly but reduced damage means that she can't one hit rabbits for example. Also an update is now that when Wendy dances Abigail also dances so they dance together. As you can see, Abigail also doesn't emit light because she only has 150 health. Once she has 300 and 600, she will start emitting light enough to keep you alive during the night. And now, as you can see, she has 300 health because a day passed. And if another day passes, she will have 600 health. Also, a new add-on is Abigail will either follow you or fight depending on which one you have selected. You can right click to switch between them. Now she's riled up meaning that she will attack anything that's nearby. Including this rabbit. And now if you right click again, she will be soothed and happy and just follow you around. She will still protect you, so if anything attacks you, she will still fight them. But she's not gonna pick a fight herself. Now she's friendly towards rabbits, or more like indifferent. And as you can see now, she emits a little bit of light. This is enough light to keep you alive during the night. And she still attacks the spiders. If she's fighting one spider at a time, she does 20 damage. If she's fighting more than one, she only does 12 but she does 12 to every single spider or enemy. And the damage is calculated by how much health Wendy has. If Wendy is at full health, then Abigail's max maximum amount of damage is 20. If Wendy has very little health left, Abigail's damage goes up to 60. But because this is Don't Starve Together, then the time of day doesn't matter. But if you're playing in single player, an Abigail will do 20 damage during the day, 40 damage during the evening, and 60 damage during the night. But Abigail will move away from you, so you have to be careful during the night. And now she's at maximum health, she has 600 health. And while angry, she will not attack neutral mobs, Unless, of course, you attack them. Even if you fail to attack or cancel the attack, she will fight them. But she does take damage. And she heals one health every second. So every second that passes, she gets one health. Meaning that if she had zero, well, one health, and it would take about 10 minutes to get her to full health. Also, she doesn't help you against nightmare monsters. So if you're going crazy, even though she's willing to fight everything else, she will not fight the nightmare monsters. Once you die, she will die as well. And if you reappear, she will be back to 150 health, not have 600 or 300 anymore. As you can see, these are also new. They're called Pip Spooks, and if you right click on it, 
you can assist them. If you stand still, they will go in the way where the item is that they want you to find. So if you stand still, they drift towards the right way. And you see this little circle above them? This little circle means that you're getting close. The bigger the circle, the closer you are. And apparently we're very close. And here is the item that they wanted us to find. Then the ghost is happy. And the ghost will give you morning glory. And that's how you get morning glory. Now you can either abandon them or keep looking. Oh, here it is. Okay. Here's a beloved crocodile toy. And again, they'll be so happy that you find it, they'll give you more morning glory. And if you abandon them, they'll be sad again. And just wander aimlessly. And disappear. And those pipsqueaks appear at the beginning of the day. It used to be that they appeared at the beginning of the night, but since you can play without night cycles, then they changed it to the beginning of the day. Also, you can heal Abigail with regular items like mosquito sacs, healing solves, spider glands, as well as honey poultice. And the toys only appear when the pipsqueak is very close to them. And here's the last toy, I think. Yep, and once you find its last toy, you get four morning glory. Each pipsqueak has three to five different toys that they have lost and want to find. And every toy gives you just one morning glory, but the last one gives four. And in Ecto Herbology, you can see all the different potions you can make for your ghost sister or Abigail. I already ma made the Revenant restorative potions that can be seen here that just give her life. But she's already at full health so it doesn't really do that much. You can also give the potion to the flower if you don't want to get too close to your ghost or she's fighting by right clicking on the flower and the same effect applies. And the other potions are Spectral Cure All that cures her a lot faster. Unyielding Draught that shields your sister from harm. Distilled Vengeance that apparently attacks the enemy's back but does only 20 damage to the enemies regardless of what damage they do to her. Choleric Tonic revive Abigail's fighting spirit increases her damage and Vigor Mortis Give your soul a little boost. Apparently makes her faster. And here's one peep spook. Also, she can attack spider nests. But she might de aggro, so you might have to attack the enemy again. And finally, we find another pip spook. Well, now we can finally make all of the potions we were missing before. Now we have all of the potions that can be made. And now the ghost is happy and can leave. Good. Now I guess let's try fighting. Now Abigail is supposed to get hurt. Yep. 
Now let's try the urban and restore. And her health goes up faster than it usually would. If we try the cure all, her health goes up even faster and now it's at maximum. Shields your sister from harm. So okay, let's try shielding her now. And every time you apply a new potion, the previous potion doesn't work anymore. She doesn't regenerate her health that fast anymore. And this is supposed to protect her for 0.47 seconds after getting hit at least once, I think. Yep, and that's how the protection works. So once she gets hit, she will be protected. Now let's try the Vengeance Potion. That's supposed to attack back if she gets attacked. For this, I guess we can try and attack the bees. B100? Well, I'm not sure if it works on bees. It's too hard to see on bees. But let's roil her up and see her fighting the dogs now. I'm not sure how much damage the dogs take, but it's supposed to be 20 from attacking her. But as you can see, she's pretty tough. Chody killed all the frogs. So let's try the other two. The other two are revive Abigail's fighting spirit, meaning do more damage, and give your soul a riddle boost. So let's try with the boost. You see how Abigail moves pretty slowly? Now if we apply this, she should be a lot faster. Yep, you see how fast she is? She can move a lot faster and catch up to the mobs that she couldn't previously. And now let's try the last one. The damage one. Now I guess let's find more frogs to fight. Here's one. Yep, it did 65 damage so that's a lot more than the maximum 60. And I'm guessing that if I have even less health she would do more damage. Well that covers the potions and morning glory. But there's also one more thing that you can do. It's craft a cistern. And once you craft a cistern, a place to rest your very soul. Abigail will level up faster. Right now she's at maximum level, so it doesn't really work. But you can open the cistern and add flowers in there. Once you have it full of flowers, Abigail will level up faster and also Wendy will get sanity from this. As you can see the sanity is going up. And the ghosts of course drain no sanity from Wendy because well she's used to ghosts. And since Abigail kills stuff, if you kill birds and if you kill birds and butterflies, then your naughtiness level will not go up, meaning you won't spawn Krampus if Abigail is the one to kill them. And I think that covers pretty much everything with this update. So thanks for watching and see you next time.